I have literally gone to heaven. Hey guys, it's day three and we are off to Bury St Edmunds to a NS2 recycling facility to pick up some circuit boards and other goodies for the chameleons. So should be pretty exciting. I hope we get some really cool stuff. It's a pretty long drive, so I'm gonna get going because I'm already late. In terms of what I'm hoping to get today, it's mainly circuit board so that's what the facility mainly does they strip off all the like valuable stuff from circuit boards uh so they are hopefully gonna have some oh that guy is not looking at his car so hopefully they're gonna have some really interesting circuit boards i'd like to have a good color range for the chameleon and the actual like plastic base that you attach all of the resistors and things like that onto can come in a few different colors. They apparently have some blue ones. I've got some green ones myself, but yeah, just some different shades and interesting ones would be really good. I'm also hoping for some older circuitry. Typically, older electronics, they have more color in them. Nowadays, everything modern, it's pretty like streamlined gray, whereas the old stuff is like tangles of really colorful wires and these incredible resistors. So if I could get some stuff like that, it would be really good. They also do uh, bio leaching and there's the potential that I might be able to get some really thin malleable sheets of copper, which again would be really good color wise because it patinas really well. And the fact that it's thin and malleable means I'd easily be able to use it in a bunch of different stuff. So I had to stop at the services and now we're even later. The traffic has just been such a nightmare, but hopefully I think we've only got like an hour left, which should give us uh, about a couple of hours to look around at the stuff. And to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna need much longer than that. I'm kind of just gonna take literally whatever they'll let me have. Cause even if it isn't useful for this piece, it'll be useful for something else. So there's always a benefit. I don't think there's anything worse than being stuck on a motorway in standstill traffic. It's just, it's just so infuriating, especially when you like don't know why there's the traffic. Hopefully we'll be there soon because I am now actually really quite late. We're here. Clearly I've got some competition. I have literally gone to heaven. <laughs> Wow, it's so heavy. That is... Wow. That's so incredible. We have got so much good stuff. I'm really excited about some of these components and just bits of circuit board. So, really excited. Better get them back to the studio now. We've got some amazing stuff in the back. I'm like so happy with the parts that we've got. We've got some blue circuit board, which is really great because that means that I can have like a bit of variation between the green and the blue. So that's amazing. And then some of the components, I'll sort of go into them in more detail when I'm in my studio, but just amazing colors, really good for a chameleon. I really couldn't have like hoped for any more. So that's really exciting. And I just can't wait to get started on it. The only downside is it's going to be a ton of disassembly, which uh, I don't know if you have seen my other videos, but I'm not that much of a fan of. It's pretty um, mind numbing and also means a ton of organization afterwards. But I guess that's just the price that you have to pay. And now I've got a long drive home, so I'm going to go do that. God, this has been such a long day. Uh, the both drives have just taken so much longer than I thought they were going to. And I haven't had lunch, uh, which is the real kicker. Hopefully it should be home soon. There's also a pretty annoying rattling noise coming from all of the metal and circuit boards in the back, which I don't love, but it could be worse. Another really annoying thing is I've realized that I left my keys to the studio at home so I can't go straight to the studio and drop off the electronics like 
I want to, it means I've got to drive home, pick up the keys and then go to the studio. So just to make the journey that little bit longer. We're back at the studio finally. I can't believe how long that all took. The stuff's all still in the car, so I'm gonna get that and then I'm gonna show you everything that we actually got. I won't be taking it apart tonight because I just don't have it in me, but there's some pretty cool stuff that we've got, so I'm really excited to show you guys. Yeah, it's quite a lot. When I was like choosing all the pieces, it didn't actually feel like that much. Carrying it all from the car then, I thought, oh my God, it's gonna take me so long to disassemble it, but it'll be worth it. Okay, well, here's every single thing we got. really excited about these parts. I've got quite a few circuit boards that have these on them, but just the little variations in color are really beautiful. They're very, very cool resistors. I've never seen any like it. So they'll definitely be getting used in the Chameleon. So that's everything. We got a ton of circuit board with some really interesting components, a bunch of heat sinks in different sizes, which are actually gonna be really useful. They're quite good for like just building out structures, adding a bit of like weight and density to them. And then just a couple of other assorted goodies. I think tomorrow though, we're gonna leave the circuit boards for a bit because I really wanna get this head welded and get a bit of a basic shape just to ground the whole thing in some actual building. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like or subscribe. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, I will see you guys then for day four.